Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today I've got three new Islander releases for you. Uh, two 38s and one 43 millimeter watch. Um, we will check them out today. Uh, I think they're really cool. People have been asking for watches like this. I'm still in Halloween mode with the orange monster. And then I pop this guy back on. I'm figuring we'll probably see this guy in all of its different colors. I'm guessing probably close to the end of the year or after, uh, you know, right in the beginning of uh, 20, 2021. Kind of really weird saying that. Anyway, let's um, let's check these guys out. Okay, folks, so here we go. I have a 43 millimeter Islander and then two 38s. Um, I, I guess in, in really, honestly, 100%, no particular order, I'll just start with the 43. Uh, so again, this is your classic um, Islander, like the original Islander in that 43 millimeter SKX style case. Uh, the only difference here, like the ISL 26, um, and this is actually the ISL 61, like the ISL 26, which is the samurai style, uh, I went with a full, oh, it's pretty much all the same, full loom dial, you know, polished chapter ring, Loom ceramic insert, sapphire crystal. Uh, this, this guy's got a sub-style bezel, a nice O style bracelet. Um, probably know most of this stuff already, but I will go over it. So we're looking at 43 millimeters in diameter, 14 thick to that flat AR sapphire crystal, 46 lug tip to lug tip drilled end lugs for easy strap changes, engraved case back with uh, Long Island, the Islander logo, and the text around it. Solid end link bracelet, three position micro adjust and milled scissor clasp. The bracelet is held together with screws for easy changes. Runs on a Seiko NH36 movement, which hand winds, hacks, 24 joules, 40 hour power reserve, uh, logo crown. Wind it, hack it, change the time, the seconds hand stops. And you have the day and the date, uh, two language day, and then regular date. So let's kind of pull in on it a little bit. A 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel. Uh, so it is a fully loomed dial, and of course we'll get to the loom in a minute. The chapter ring itself with a rehort is done in a polished with a high angle on it. So it gives you a good reflection of the dial. And then the indices, the hand, the logo, the text is all done in black. The hands are done in a gloss black, and the indices are done, uh, the dial is done in a matte black. Uh, so it kind of gives that reverse effect when the lights go out. This thing glows really well. Nice bezel. You can see the uh, end link there for that bracelet. Really good looking. So the price on these is um, $299. I'll do all the loom shots together um, after I go over the three watches but a, a knockout winner. I think a lot of people kind of asking for this guy, um, you know, when I did the uh, Samurai style, sorry, I moved my notes around. When I did the Samurai style in the full loom, I mean, a lot of people started asking for the um, kind of an SKX style case. That's what you got here. So following up on the success of the pinky, uh, I guess this is the purpley. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to give ladies another option um, for a, a color in the in the uh, 38 millimeter diver. This is a 38 millimeter. I guess we go over it. It's 38. It's 13 to a slightly slightly domed sapphire crystal AR double dome. 44 and a half lug tip to lug tip. Solid screw down case back. Uh, solid end link. Solid links. And the stickers are really holding it together nice. Uh, solid links, solid end links, and uh, screws on this one, of course, as well. Same kind of clasp. Push button, three position. My finger, by the way, my thumb is still wrapped up. Uh, milled scissor clasp. Looks really nice. The, you know, the polishing in the center of the link looks really sweet. The um, so the dial is done, and I wanted to pick a nice pastel purple. I know a lot of guys said they would wear it, rock that pink watch that I did, pinky, ISL 52. This, by the way, is ISL 64. Um, and nothing wrong with that. You can rock that. But I don't think guys are going to rock this pastel purple. Or maybe they are. I don't know. But I did do the sapphire uh, insert to match. So this is a luminous sapphire insert, a lum uh, 
sapphire crystal, so nothing's going to scratch on you. Nice Marine Master style hands. I did opt to keep the red pip on it, just for a touch of a different color. Um, logo crown, if I didn't already mention it. Price on this guy is, um, I believe it's $2.99 as well. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly certain. I think it's $2.99. It's the $2.99 to $3.29. I'm going to actually say $2.99 because that's what pinky was. Uh, whereas the, uh, I, so I don't want I don't want people to forget or mention that the pink version of this, that's the one that I'm donating 10% of the proceeds to uh, two different charities, Breast Cancer Research and Williams Syndrome uh, Association. Uh, but I just want to kind of give that little infomercial. Uh, so this is purpley. And then 38 millimeter folks rejoice. I did the ISL 18. Let me find that. I've got it over here. I brought it to the party. Here's the 18 and 43 millimeter. Now, this is the ISL 63 in 38 millimeters. So, you want to call it, you know, his and hers, or as I say in the past, his and his, or hers and hers, whatever you, whatever you folks want to do. I don't care. Um, this is the 38 millimeter version of this guy. The reason why this took me so long to bring out was I actually didn't have a mold for this ceramic insert here the mold already existed for the 43 version but not the not the 38 so we've got that one now so i've obviously also this means the isl 04 watch could be a 38 millimeter variant uh, if i if i'm so inclined to make one it's not none in the plant yet but just kind of letting you know uh, so this is again the ISL 60. This guy is 329. I know because the uh, ceramic embossed insert. All the same specs though as purpley there. 38 by 13 by 44 and a half. Uh, you can see it's got you know same bezel style and everything. This is on an O bracelet, 20 millimeter lug. Solid links, solid end links, three position micro adjust clasp, uh, NH36 movement. It's all the same. All the same specs. 120 click unidirectional. Da, 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 bezel oops so if you thought that the isl 18 was too big for you well then this would be the one for you um let's uh let's do the old nighttime shot of <clears throat> of the three of them together um you know what? i don't want to do a nighttime shot of the three of them together i want to do them one at a time because they actually they're all going to glow differently for different you know different parts so i, I don't want that to get lost so i'm going to start with the full loom and then I'll pull up the purple and then I'll pull up the blue. So here is that full loom. You get shadowing where I exposed it with um, <laughs> with the uh, light. So that's why I might see some shading on the dial. It's simply where the minute hand was. Uh, but obviously it glows really well. The ceramic bezel insert with loom glows excellent. This, these, look at, look at my glove. These watches glow really well. Uh, let's pick up, I'm trying to feel around now. Uh, let's pick up the purple guy. So here's the purple one. Like I said, it has a sapphire insert. So it glows, the insert glows excellent. Actually, a little bit of backlighting to the insert. Um, the hands, the logo, the indices, everything glows uh, excellent here. And then here's that ISL 63 or whatever it is. Um, glows very well. The uh, bezel insert does not glow at all on this one. So here is uh, that 38 millimeter. Islander, I, as you guys have heard me say in the past, I, at my wrist size is six and three quarters, I still am a fan of the 43 millimeter watches, but I know a lot of you are not at six and three quarter and under, you definitely, you're looking for a 38, so maybe this is the answer to your prayers, uh, but it's very nice, fits, fits quite well, I'm not sure I would rock a purple, but the color is really nice, really slick looking. Uh, it's very hard for this um, dial to come out in photos correctly uh, because it catches the light so much. Uh, but I, I feel like here what you're seeing, what I'm seeing in the viewfinder at least, is is correct. Um, it really looks looks awesome. It's soft um, but classy. Last one is that 43 millimeter full loom. It fits like the rest of my Islanders. Like I said, I like to wear the 43s. They fit great. It looks great. Uh, Lots of room on the bracelet. Um, I know people have been asking me, folks have asked, guys, if you buy an Islander and you need some extra links, I will take care of you. I will not charge you for extra links. Um, I will make sure that you get everything that you need to make it fit. You know, that being said, most of these are, they're all standard length. It'll go up to about a seven, eh, seven and three quarter interest or so uh, at full length. I think that will wrap it up. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you three new islanders. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.